Diego County has been under a health emergency declaration for close to a week now as concerns over the coronavirus continue. And today, the County Board of Supervisors will figure out if they should extend that. 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie is along the Embarcadero now. Mary, even though the emergency declaration can seem scary, in this case, it's more about securing funds and supplies, not necessarily about public risk. And in many ways, it's something of a formality. They have to ratify the declaration in order to continue it. But as you mentioned, less about risk, more about funding and supplies. It is really a proactive step of prevention and protection uh, and to position ourselves accordingly with additional resources. Those resources include things like mutual aid and supplies and ensuring that county doctors have all of the medical medical supplies, excuse me, that they may need in the event of an outbreak. To put it in perspective too, San Diego County has declared a local emergency before 2017 was the last one as we dealt with a hepatitis A outbreak. As far as coronavirus concerns though, there are currently two people who've tested positive for it in San Diego County. Both are recovering at UCSD Medical Center. Center. They were part of two flights that arrived to Miramar last week, and right now there are about 230 people, roughly, who remain quarantined on base. That quarantine expected to come to an end for those people next week. County doctors, too, have been busy with people reporting possible cases as individuals. They say usually it's about 20 to 30 referrals per day. Right now they've had 170 plus people who've been referred to them, mostly uh, folks returning from China. They're considered low to medium risk. But the meeting about that declaration will happen here at 2 o'clock today, and that will allow them, if they ratify it today, to extend it beyond this one week so far. So we're live along the Embarcadero. Mary McKenzie, 10 News.